Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing my FBS Top 25 for Week 7. There's a new team in the Top 25, and I couldn't wait to put these guys in this list. And I'm going with the Louisiana Raging Cajuns at number 25. My Raging Cajuns are doing an outstanding job. 5-1, 3-0 in conference for the first time in school history. They're playing outstanding defense, and that offense is very explosive. Look for them to continue their winning ways this week against North Texas. Quietly, the Washington Huskies have put together a quite impressive season led by their quarterback Price back there at the helm, making tremendous strides in the passing game, and his defense is very underrated. Look for these guys to make some noise in the Pac-12 and pose a serious threat to the leaders of that conference. We understand that the Notre Dame Fighting Irish is a lot better than their 4-2 record indicates. This offense puts up a lot of points, and that defense is very aggressive, and they play downhill. Now, if they could just put it all together for one game, this team could be very, very scary. The Houston Cougars have put together an impressive campaign, 6-0 on the year so far, and their biggest test other than this week against UCF, we'll be later on in the season against another team that's making a lot of noise, the SMU Mustangs. Speaking of those Mustangs, they had the week off last week, so they remain in this spot. But you look at what they bring to the table, explosive offense, over 40 points a game, and that defense as a 3-4 front causes a lot of pressure for opposing offenses. The Oregon Ducks may be playing without LaMichael James, but they do have an explosive freshman in DeAnthony Thomas. This guy is going to be a huge star for the Ducks, so let's see how he does in the lead and tailback role this week against their first real test since LSU in Arizona State. The Baylor Bears were able to put away Iowa State last week, but they have a huge test this week against Texas A&M. That Aggie defense does give up a lot of points, but they also can put a lot of pressure on the QB. Let's see how Robert Griffin does in this game. Heart and the will to win is what I noticed last week from the Virginia Tech Hokies in holding off the Miami Hurricanes. Yes, they gave up a big lead, but they fought through it, came in and shut them down when they needed to, and that's what you need to stay in the top 25. been on Michigan State all year. I had him in a preseason as the Big Ten winner, but look at what they have to do this week against a tough team. Their interstate rival in Michigan, they have to find a way to contain Denar Robinson. Let's see if they could do that with some effectiveness this week. Tough, gritty victory and a comeback victory for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They were on the mat against Ohio State, but they showed their true grit. And that's what I like to see out of a team that was battling the media all week. So look for them to stay focused and play that us against the world mentality in their next ball game. Huge game this week for Arizona State. They take on the Oregon Ducks in Eugene. And if they could pull off a victory, this is a serious contender for BCS bowl bid out of the Pac-12. These guys have everything you want on their roster to be successful. You see what happens when South Carolina gets some consistent quarterback play? They're a very tough team to beat because with that defense, they could beat anybody in the country. It's all on the shoulders of the quarterback position. So if they can get some consistent play week in, week out, look for the Carolina Gamecocks to win the SEC East. Look at what Ron Zook is doing to this team. He has these guys ready to play each and every week, and that defense is very outstanding. Keep an eye on the line for the rest of this season. Now, the Kansas State Wildcats are surprised at 12, but I like them as a 12th team in the country. These guys are doing it the old-fashioned way with sound defense, keeping opponents out of the end zone and on the ground. Look for the K-State Wildcats to continue to rise up the charts. The Mountaineers are doing outstanding defensively and sans the LSU game. This team is very solid, both offensively and defensively. But what I said earlier, you hang your hat on the Mountaineers defense and that's going to carry them possibly to a Big East crown.
Well, I tell you right now, nobody wants to face the Arkansas Razorbacks. They are a handful if you're a defense, because that offense can score points in bunches, and they attack you from all different angles. They really force teams to cover every blade of grass, so look for the Razorbacks to continue to put a lot of pressure on those opposing defenses. I'm finally starting to jump on the Michigan bandwagon. I will definitely be on the bandwagon if they hold their own against their interstate rival, the Michigan State Spartans. This is a huge test for the Wolverines, their first real test since the Notre Dame ball game. keep telling guys nobody wants to face that option attack they force you to play discipline so athleticism is out of the window and they have the best talent for this option attack so teams like Georgia Tech will be a force to be reckoned with throughout this season and may possibly win the ACC outright most teams are doing it with defense Oklahoma State is doing it with offense they're outscoring teams they're averaging 51 points a game, which is top in the country, and they're just forcing teams to try to outscore them, and a lot of teams won't be able to because there's that type of firepower in uh, Stillwater this season. The Clemson Tigers are probably one of the more balanced teams in the country and, and definitely in the ACC, led by their quarterback, Taj Boyd. So when you have a well-balanced team, they're usually tough to beat especially when you have some explosiveness thrown in there by wide receiver Sammy Watkins. A team that's a model of consistency with the best quarterback in the land, Stanford, has solidified their fifth ranking. I look for these guys to improve. If one of these top four teams lose, Stanford will be right in the mix. This team is a dangerous squad with a very aggressive defense. We mentioned last week that they could hold the possible Heisman Trophy winner in Russell Wilson, but you got to look at that matchup that they provide with teams on defense. This team gets after the quarterback like no other, and there's a reason why the Badgers are one of the Dark Horse candidates for a national title. No one talks about Boise State this season. All they've done is just completely run through their schedule. They're outscoring opponents. Their defense is very aggressive. And they run more of a pro-style offense that you see in college football. So when you're led by Kelly Moore, your team is always going to have a chance to win. And that defense, again, is very, very good. I can't wait until the Alabama Crimson Tide take on the LSU Tigers because that's going to be like a heavyweight title fight. You might want to get Jim Lampley and Larry Merchant to call that ball game because this is going to be a slugfest between two tough defenses and Alabama has the edge in the passing game with A.J. McCarron. It's a tie for number one. I like the way the Oklahoma Sooners play football in this this year. They do a great job. They're a throwback team. They get after you on defense. And offensively, they put a lot of pressure on your defense by spreading the field. So I like what the Sooners are doing. And that's why I can't put them below LSU. I just have them tied with the LSU Tigers, who also have an aggressive defense and take an old school approach. They beat you with the running game. They actually pound you with the running game. And defensively, they have the best player in the country in Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. Look for this these two teams if they meet up with each other to be one of the classic games in college football history. For more college football news, notes, and tidbits, visit footballgameplan.com slash college football or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.